All right, this one's gonna be on T Mux um, pop up window. This thing is very pretty. I like it already. But you need T Mux uh, version 3.2 or higher. And this is what you can do here. You do a T Mux uh, display. We'll type out the full name to show you confuse here. And you do like a, you know, for example, we'll do an LS and we'll pipe into FZF here. All right, and you have your little window. Um, you know, you can do uh, whatever scripts or commands you want. So you can do other flags like dash W, because by default it's like, uh, I believe uh, 50%, but you can do like 80%. And look at that, it'll, you know, make it uh, wider. Uh, there's other flags you can do if you do uh, your man page here. What is that, uh, pop-up? What is that, display pop-up? Right, you can do like uh, height. Also, uh, you can do uh, X and Y positions if you want to do that. <clears throat> I mean, it's not that hard here. If you want to bind to a hotkey. So, for example, we have... Let's make this a little... Okay, so if you have like, uh, let's say, for example, you want to bind it to... Um, uh, what we got here? Control, Alt, and Space. And this one is no prefix, so we do a dash n here. But you do, you know, the same commands here. And look at this, if I run it now, boop, look at that, right? Uh, real simple. And the reason I like about this is that, you know, if you see my, uh, you know, my display here, right? Um, this window, it has a lot of text on here, but I can still see the surrounding text, um, you know, uh, when I'm using this. Normally if I use like the paint you know, it will just toggle the, the display. It's kind of annoying to do that every time. But uh, with this thing, look at that, right? You have a floating window, a pop-up here, and uh, you can do, you know, your commands really quick. So, for example, I have this, um, what's this other one here? This is my uh, FCS speed um, script here. This is kind of like my uh, rebranded FCF Nova, if you watch my uh, old video on uh, Nova here. But it's kind of the same thing, but this one is mainly for pure Tmux, which I'm still working on. But you can see I can do a calculator. I can do like a seven, you know, whatever it is. And when I'm done with the calculations, uh, I'm back to my current window. And it looks uh, pretty uh, when I'm doing that. Now, normally when you're using this right now, uh, especially on, um, what version is this? 3.2? You can't do any uh, Tmux pacing on the pop-up window. So I'm not sure why, um, well, I'm not, well, I'm not really sure why, but I heard they're gonna fix it in the future where you can actually do your Tmux pacing. Cause right now, uh, if you wanna do that, you have, you have to use a, a, you know, a split pane instead of a pop-up window. So, you know, if you're using it right now, you cannot use your Tmux clipboard. Normally you won't need it, but if you ever need to do that, you can't use it at the moment. Uh, what else is there? Pretty much it for, you know, how you would set this up. You, you want to bind your hotkeys. If you want to bind it uh, without the prefix, uh, make sure you don't have the N, the dash N here. But, you know, if you have your own scripts, you can do point it to a script or whatever it is. So let me show you some example uh, of what I have here. Uh, so, for example, what do we got? Uh, this is my FCS speed. I can switch panes, so I can switch it to my RSS, or uh, what was that? I can go to my W3M. All right. And if you watch my video on W3M, uh, we had like a FCF kind of script with uh, what was that to search uh, surf raw. So you can actually integrate that in here. And look at here. This is my uh, surf raw, and I can use like Google. And I can search for a name. God bless you. Um, we'll do Tmux. We should have saw a few videos on Tmux on here, right? So, for example, this one here, I can open this. Keyword uh, with, uh, what is it? MPV. And I'll watch it in a minute here. Look at that, right? So, in the corner, you can see. But we'll close out the video. So that's some stuff you can do with the script right now. Um, I'm trying to rewrite some of my scripts to use this pop-up because I like it so much already. 
Uh, what else can we do in here? So, um, let's switch back to our session here. What was it called? Cool. So in here, um, they actually have another environment variable. So if you ever want to write your own scripts, we can do what's it, env tmux. They have this new one called termprog. And this will tell you if you're actually inside of tmux or not. Uh, in the past, it was kind of hard to do, but in you know this version, they actually have this new uh, environment variable. So if you ever want to see if you're actually inside tmux and not you know running tmux in the background or something like that, actually the script you know only works if you're you know actually using tmux, not something in the background process. Then you want to use this environment variable right uh, when you're using your scripts. So, uh, pretty much it for the program, and I've been, you know, trying to integrate it with uh, different things that I use. <laughs> so this one is SV, which uh, we'll talk about some of these uh, stuff in the future. But look at this; I can use this as a pop-up. You know, uh, what else can we do in here? We're gonna use uh, W3M. No, we actually use the links in here just in case people will see. All right. Uh, I can use what else can we do in here? You can use this to. Oh yeah, last time when I talked about Tmux, uh, the right-click menu, people say they liked it because uh, they didn't want to remember the hotkeys or something like that. Uh, if you write your own scripts in here, you can actually automate most of these stuff in here. So if I want to make a, a new window, uh, I can do a new window. All right, I can do. Uh, or the split pane, all right. I can do this type of some stuff in here. I can do uh, split vertically window. Look at that, all right. So if you're one of those person that don't remember your hotkeys or whatever, you can actually just script everything and um, you know uh, use just like. Yeah, you only have to remember like one hotkey to do a pop-up and then everything else you just run it from a script and look at that you can do uh, most of your basic tmux commands where you do a split windows and all that uh, from a you know a script or whatever it is right so there you go um, probably gonna talk about that in the future but uh, that's what I've been using the tmux pop-up I dig it so far uh, if you have any good scripts let me know but that's it for Tmux display pop-up, aka floating windows. Uh, if you're a Tmux user, definitely check it out because it does look sexy when uh, you know you got it all set up and everything. That'll be it for this one.